So in this short video, we are going to talk about the memory leak in the C programming language. So what is a memory leakage? Basically whenever a programmer creates a particular memory location, for example it creates a pointer to a memory address and after the operation of the pointer is done, the programmer forgets to delete that pointer from the memory. And while the program runs or executes, the memory is still consumed by that pointer even though it is not required. To demonstrate this, I am going to create a file include my stdio.h library, create my main function and outside of this main function I'm going to create a void function and I'm going to call it demo and this demo function is not going to do something special it is just going to create a new pointer variable ptr and then we are going to create a number variable and set it equal to 100 and then we are going to set the pointer variable equal to the address of the number variable and then we are simply going to print out the value of the number variable using the pointer so we can say the value of the number is as and we're going to pass in percentage %d and pass in our pointer variable with the asterisk symbol so that we get the value placed at that memory location. Also let me add in a new line over here. So that is all this function is going to do. Now in the main function we are simply going to call this demo function and do nothing. After that we can simply return the program. But I want to create a scenario in which the program is running while we are out of the demo function. So for that I'm going to create a random variable. This variable is not going to do anything. It is just to stop the program from exiting so i'm going to call this halt and i'm then going to use scanf function to get some kind of value inside this halt variable and i'm simply going to prompt that i am outside of the demo function so if i save my program and execute it i get the output as this is the value of the number from this function and after that it simply prints out that i'm outside of the demo function now, the reason I created this halt variable was to halt the exiting process of this program. Why? Because imagine that you're working on a very big program and you have gone through a function like this one, which has a pointer that was used within this function. Now, when the control was returned to the main function, this pointer was still inside the memory and it was still consuming memory space even though it is not required. Now, such scenarios are known as memory leakage in the C programming language. When these memory leakages, if not dealt with, can create serious problems when you're working with a big program or big solutions for a big problem. So the way to deal with this problem is that you need to free up that pointer. So we do free and pass in a pointer. Now this free command is not included in the standard IO library. So you need to include the library, which is include stdlib.h. With this, you can deal with the memory leakages. So if I rerun my code, it is going to give us the same output but this time around we are sure that there are no memory leakages or this pointer is not consuming memory even though it is not required. So that was it for memory leakages in the C programming language.